Good morning everyone. I decided to work today on this tiger because it's still year of tiger, a few days left. So why why not to work on it? So today I'm working like right where is this label? We're going to work on this um, piece in here. It's like a, another color, darker in here. So we will work somewhere in here. And sorry, yes, I'm showing you with my fingers as usual. Why not? Yes, right in here. So this is all kind of like back around, big patches of colors. So I'm trying to finish this first and then, well, yeah, a little patch in here. This color probably same as here will be. And yeah, I have a stitch only eye. So he looks good. And let's get stitched a little bit together. Give a tiger a credit for being a tiger not very good year for me hopefully year of rabbit next year will be better for many people uh, i just change actually needles in here i work with original needle from this kit because this is 14 count ada and those little tiny needles with the yellow uh, this hoop for the thread um, it was really hard to actually pull it a needle like it was um now oh, it's kind of dark for you no oh maybe all right um yeah i work without any light right now but the window wide open so hopefully okay i will add some filter a little bit too so i put needle in here a little bit thicker so now my thread go much easier and this needle is just a oh it kind of have a yellow color too but a little bit wider and that's why it creating a hole before my thread go through so it's much much easier now on my fingers because i was stitching last night a little bit when i was waiting my video all upload by the way right now as i record this video it's uh, tuesday 27 so tomorrow is my Wednesday stitching. So I decided why why not to have one more stitching, especially when it's a year of tiger. I didn't stitch for a long time. Well, kind of I did stitch by myself a little bit without you. I wanted to create even like the whole thing already, and then. Uh, start stitch with you tiger but end up doing lots of other stuff yesterday for me was last night it was the recording of three videos that I posted you know on 27 which one of those video exporting right now still <laughs> I'm still working I was working all night it was recording time I think like around three hours the preparation and all that so I spent the half of the day on that video all night was processing when I wake up my video already processed it was like after six in the morning because a customer calls to wake me up and I see my video processed I quickly started upload to my channel so then you know when first video start to upload to my channel I started to process video number two, which was uh, and like first video was one hour, 23 minutes, I think. Second video was 50 something minutes. And video number three was uh, uh, 37 minutes because it's loading right now. Hopefully soon enough, because as I promised, I want this three video go on the same day Let's zoom out a little bit more same day so it's kind of because it's like a it's one video i just split on um, few episodes because other than like if i would create all this three hours in one video that would like probably impossible to upload it would turn my computer for days <laughs> So finally I done with the video and looking forward to see your comments and what you're thinking.
don't afraid to give me thumbs up and like video that way video will be more visible in platform of YouTube and will be suggested video for other viewers which more people can see my channel come join me don't forget that I do have still giveaway running but I will pick the winner sometime around New Year yeah colors right now this this is such a pretty yellow bright color but on the camera for me looks very washed out it's because I work without light Oh, final storm stopping here. Last night was falling snow more, but it wasn't as bad as was first days. People still trying to uncover themselves. Lots of collisions on the roads. So today looks kind of sunny. They promise for the new year plus, plus six or plus eight even. So all the snow will start to melt. It's going to be slush probably. Yeah, my computer a little bit wait like too loud right now. It's running, it's running. Left maybe like 20% more to run and then I can upload this video to my channel as well. Oh, actually this one exporting and the other video, number two video, it's still uploading to my channel. At this point I didn't even upload, like did not post it yet. Check in 24%. Okay, soon. Soon. So that was a long video. I don't know if you have fun or not. I'm really looking forward because it will be three videos one day. That's probably the most so far that I will have. And hopefully you don't mind that we will have two cross stitch video this week. Because I decided to cheer up the video of European Town 2 got 20 minutes chopped off and disappeared. So all the recording was for nothing. Okay, let me try if I can do with two hands maybe a little bit not very good tension in here because it's a very on the edge in here of the canvas I need to move my frame a little bit over as soon as I done this next blue color from this side next to the frame then it will be better tension now it's like keep slipping away because I'm on the very edge in here that's why Kinda you watching my canvas jumping a little bit jumpy. Sorry, this is not very comfortable for you to watch. And this is the canvas that I have a little bit offset color printed. You see how it's you can see the yellow sticking out. It's printed not exactly on the squares background. So I have to kinda guide myself in here where I want to create that stitch to the left or to the right Okay. 
see my cute it's a tiger but my magnet in here okay cute panda bear let me put right there so you can see it that's a very cute design and you see this it says oh you cannot see it hold on let me move a little bit you see in here it says spring that's exactly that sometimes you receive in canvases brand spring I wish they were marked up more about most of the stores marked Joy Sunday because I was really on their heads when they would stop open up the stores and they all come to me to review their product and I would make them to do the proper way set up the store before I review them because as I told them if I cannot see what I want to see it's been my viewers will not like it either so here or fix it or I'm not going to review your store so they did fix the whole bunch of uh, adjustment they did and since then it's kind of like a easy to see uh, oh, I keep hitting the corner of this frame because it's sticking out hold on let me move a little bit kind of an angle this frame are very tiny and I don't have much room to put like a heavy something on the edge to hold this frame you know like European town I can put like a whole bunch of like box with my heavy beads to hold still and this one it's tiny square and I just put little you know little tiny container like from the fruits and I put those little tiny glass uh, I don't know what is this supposed to be for the candles I think I use them sometimes for the beads to review or put some liquid if I have to from my videos so it's kind of staying on the top of this frame to hold and not to slip off my table if I remember I will show you magnifier lamp that Catherine bought me for Christmas but I don't like it and I would say I don't recommend to purchase I will hopefully I remember to insert short video about it. I have to go to the store and exchange it maybe for something different because that particular lamp she bought me for Christmas it has a closure for the magnifier from the top kind of like a lid and it doesn't open very uh, much and it's kind of like if you want to lean over to the magnifier you hit in a, with your forehead that lid that closure and it can go very close kind of to the canvas and the magnifier when it stays a little bit further make a blurry and smudgy image it's only good if you would look something under the magnifier to bring a uh, let's say coin towards you but when you cross stitch and you have to go to the canvas you can lift it if it's not good enough so it did not work for me so I will have to try to uh, return it back and or get like a credit money and buy something else or uh, maybe some different lamps up there to try it and that particular it's the same uh, at light like I have this one to my lamps that I'm working right now but the other one is a uh, table stand only and it's just I try did not work for me unfortunately so I told Catherine, you know, sorry baby, that it's it just, uh, it's hard to pick something that it would be good for me to cross stitch or diamond paint. I just, uh, I don't have to keep a something that is not going to be useful for me. So she's like, no, oh, that's okay. You can pick something else. Because she really wanted, after my lamp broke, but now, you know, I glue already. So that's okay. 
but I thought if this is good because my husband says it's a stronger magnifier um, so I thought okay if this one will work I will take one with me to campground and keep it in a trailer but unfortunately no I, I cannot work with it please remind me to show you right remember that so yell on me through the screen okay to move over a little yeah i wish i have like a good holder this or oh, maybe I will try one more time the clamp that I used to review from I think TY digital art didn't work for me for the frame bigger frame because it was like too heavy but maybe just maybe I can try one more time and see if um, the small frame maybe will hold better. I don't know if it fits this frame or not. So maybe I will try it. You know what? Let me go and try it right now. If it's not going to work, at least I, I will show you right now the lamp that I'm talking about. So just for in case you're looking at maybe some of you have the lamp and you like it but I did not figure out how to use it for me it's not comfortable I can't pull it down enough to work for me so that's what happened I don't even know how much the lamp cost all right let me check with you in a sec here's the lamp it's an art light like my other one but look in here, you have this kind of magnifier and this lid, that's how it stick it out. So when I go close to here, this actually like a, wouldn't let me go. It doesn't open far enough for me to see. And this uh, magnifier, much smaller than the one that I have right now. And then this is how it looks like, it's supposed to be fold like this. And... You can crank. Uh, it's showing here too. In here, uh, where was it? Some was on another side. Oh, on another side of the box. Hold on. See how it's showing that you can fold uh, like this and go up one more time. Shadow, be quiet now. Um, no, it's sort of. Oh, for heaven's sake! What? Oh yeah, stretch yourself. What do you want? Go sleep again under the tree. Go sleep. Don't bother. Don't bother. Alright? Okay, you see the structure? I thought this clamp would, if this would be stay like this, that would be good. But it's heavy. It just keeps falling down. So this clamp not strong enough. Obviously, it cannot work like that. So I have to go to my square one all right let's continue and stitch a little bit more had to stop for a little bit oh my jar jar coming out hold on let me move to the other side okay yeah unfortunately that clamp did not work for me as i was hoping to it doesn't hold i need like a heavy duty find something I keep asking for a clamp in like in a Canadian tire, let's say with all those tools and they just don't have what I need. I might have to search on Amazon or something, see if I can find some kind of clamp that's sturdy enough to hold this even little frame. I even try a hoop, still keep cranking down. That's okay, I guess I will do this way as I working for years flat on the table
will be visiting Sherry on Wednesday. Since we can't make to Christmas dinner, <laughs> we will make on Wednesday. Finally, they have electricity back, heat. So we will go with them. I would love to go to the lake and see how it looks like up there. Probably lots of icicles frozen by the lake. Okay, this containers keep making the noises. Feels like far away. Somebody on the road walking with. No, it's not. No, I thought Tim Hortons coffee in a tray. Look more like a McDonald's. McDonald's a little bit far away to walk. I do not eat McDonald's anymore. To me. It's a disgusting food. I cannot stand McDonald's and their cardboard taste drinks. That's it, I'm done. The only thing that I like to have from McDonald's is the coffee. And sometimes they have the delicious um, specials of ice cream, the very, very creamy ice cream. Sometimes with the caramel and chocolate, liquid chocolate. Those I can have, but the food from McDonald's, yeah, no more. I didn't have for a long time now. McDonald's, Catherine like it. My son don't eat McDonald's either, but uh, my husband and Catherine still munching time from time. There's lots of places where so much better and tastier hamburger, even go like to Wendy's. See in here, I'm kind of like a guess on where to go. It's like totally split on half symbol in here. So I have to Kinda make a stitch in here. Will be less complicated to stitch all this blue in here, big patch. No need to worry anymore about any other colors. And I should get a little bit more progress. At least I want to stitch background to the tiger. And I will still stitch through the year. And that's okay. I'm holding the cute little bunny, remember, of diamond painting that we are going to do with you for the year of rabbit. So the canvas not far away in here. Actually, I should put flat on this table under my mat to let this stretch nicely so it's nice and flat. Yeah, that's what I will do after this video. I will make the canvas flat because I really want to work on it. To create a little bit faster than I was working on a tiger diamond painting, which I created, but that canvas was big. This bunny will be nice and cute, sweet, and sh like small canvas. I can remember what size 30 by 40 or 40 by 50. Can't remember exactly. I 
hope I'm doing a right color. Oh my god, now I scare myself. Hold on. <laughs> uh, let me check. 23. Yes, 23. And the other one was 19. It's a, like a dark. Okay. Phew. Scare myself. Uh, my next color will be. Let me show you. Like this one. See, it's like a dark, dark blue number 19. I thought maybe I'm stitching here because uh, if you look on this lower colors, they kind of, no, still kind of, you can see big difference transition. So I scare myself. For a moment, I thought I'm stitching the wrong color. Oh, that would hurt. That would hurt. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this thread, wherever it takes for this video. I'm not going to create this very short one. Tonight, I don't think I will do anything else, so maybe I will finish at least this yellow patch or even through the day. Yeah, I would love to finish this patch of color and that's going to be like one more color finished because I don't think I have anywhere on a tiger same color. sec no my my video number three is still processing checking checking on YouTube checking if I didn't say nothing bad to be honest that was a lot of work with this three videos of tools first of all have to collect everything bring to one place and it was just a very long video but I'm glad I created because hopefully it will help for somebody to decide if they should order certain product or not based on my personal Opinion. and if you want to trust my opinion or just order and see if you will like it so glad one more friend received European town a few days ago happy happy moments if you're watching my video right now Please tell me from which house you decide to work first, on the left or on the right side of the canvas. just at the same time checking your messages and my cell phone keep flashing comments from YouTube channel 
I just saw Julia's message. Hi, Julia. We should create one video, maybe just the questions and answers. I don't know if that would be a work or not. I forgot that I'm stitching with my magnifier light on and it's uh, I'm creating shadow for you I'm sorry I forgot I have a light bed me Alright, my thread is getting really short now and you know how I'm stitching my thread usually not longer than needle itself till the time I finish. Yes, I'm really saving on my threads. So I think maybe next time when you see this canvas I should definitely create this yellow patch. I need to finish this yellow patch. You know, after European town, it's kind of hard to get back to 14 count. I'm so used to it now by stitching almost all week European town and now go because uh, European town on 11 count. And now 14 is like, oh my goodness, it's so tiny looking. But at the same time, if I would go to my uh, head and nurse design, having the nurse design, that one is like very very super tiny uh, what was it 25 count or 28 count that I'm working I can't remember now mm -hmm. oh I was practicing to record video about cross stitch saga I have a few requests to make a more video how to work with that app that I'm using for cross stitching so I'm kind of like um, was doing nothing when it was a snowfall. My husband was kind of working. So I sat down and I was kind of practicing with the app just to make sure I remember everything and what kind of direction I should like start and go. So yes, I will prepare the video because I think many of you will like it. Okay. Okay, so now this one with the 14 count Ada I can finish just to pinch it backwards like in here from the top one more time to create my that's it and it's done all right I will see you my friends next time <laughs>